All right, so we just talked about this whole engine. We just put it back together. Now we're talking about this mower engine. All right, so let's just show how they're the same. This is the head, right? There's the head right there. So if we just tilt this up like this, you'll notice that these two things are very similar. All right, so, and then obviously we have the pull start on this guy. That sounds great. Yeah, why, why are you struggling with that? Wait, where's the, where's the pull start on this guy? No, nah, we just, we just do a... Like Whoa! A Whoa! <laughs> but you can see the similarities here between the two engines, right? This is just the same thing as here. It just has a little bit more stuff on it because we need some more control right. if we're talking see, like, about engines. The blade would go here. Yep. And the same thing goes here. If you looked underneath, there would be the blade would be down below and the, the shaft is going down. So the piston would be like this. Right. <laughs> Okay. Like that. And by the way, we took the blade off for safety. Yeah, so there's no blade here. If we stick here. our fingers under yeah. here, we're going to keep them all. All right, so there's no pull start on this thing, but you got a drill. Talk to me about, this is similar to a kind of a regular car, right? So in a car, you have an electric starter. In fact, if you go back in time and you remember, you know, not remember, but... You Chitty, know the, Chitty Bang Bang? Yeah, like... like, you, like have to, you have to... Yeah, that's, that was the starter for And it was kind of dangerous. Yeah. And you'd have to stand in the mud and crank it over. And actually, that's why electric vehicles got started uh, faster. Because, uh, you know, if you could just get in the car and go, right? But they didn't have the energy density. It's a whole other story. Right. But, simulating the car. So this is like the starter. This okay, is so the electric start on your car. So instead of vroom, we're right. using yeah. we're using smart power. Here. Exactly. Instead of elbow juice. And then you just go like this. Wow, so it actually sounds like an engine. Yeah. yeah. So there's no gasoline in there. No. This is all electric. It's an electric motor. Yeah. But so now it so every time you hear it go duh 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 duh, yeah. what's happening is that that's that suction and that you're fighting the pressure, pulling it in, compression it. So compression, because we compression. actually have a piston right here, yeah, and the piston is actually doing all that work. So when you have a regular gas engine, mm -hmm. you're right now you're putting in the energy here, but all that energy has to come from that one stroke, right? All the amount of energy coming from that has to come from the stroke. Exactly. That's amazing. So hang on a second. This is already, we've already converted, if we put a blade on there yeah. and you start spinning it, Yep. this is an electric mower. We did it, we're done. We are done. Awesome, yeah. all cool. Right, see you later. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. But so, so there's one stupid thing, yeah. which is that we're doing the suction and compression of right. on nothing for no reason. How can we, so we'd, we'd have to pull the head off? Well, we don't even need to pull the head off. If we could just eliminate the pressure. Oh, there's a hole already yep. in the head. And we can take out the spark plug. Okay. Okay. So now the air is going to be escaping and getting sucked so back in through no there. So now there's no pressure. Okay. And just, you could put your thumb here. Yep. And you could feel it. It'll make a little Whoa. fart noise. All right. And then it sucks in your yeah. thumb. I got to get to the next stroke. There you yep, go. Yep, I heard that. All right. That's okay. nuts. But so yeah. now we're not going to have any of that resistance. No resistance. So we just pulled out the spark plug and now... Yep. That's an electric lawnmower. So we're all set. We just pop the blade on yeah. and then you have your friend walk next to the lawnmower <laughs> and just uh, be in charge of the... Uh, I of got the some, so we've got some cord for you. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then yeah. cut the grass. Yeah, there you we go. We got it. It's an electric conversion. So it would be great if we took the head off, removed the piston, and came up with some kind of mounting bracket on this engine. Yeah, what if we just get rid of the piston yeah. and have a mounting bracket? Okay. I uh, made one. Oh, this is one that you prepared earlier. <laughs> yeah, I oh, just, just put it in the oven. <laughs> that's you nice. Know. Yeah, it's Excellent. already cooked. So show me how this works. So okay, let's take so, a look, so quick look first. So look here. There's no, no piston. So when we right. turn this, there's nothing there. And look how easy it is to turn. Yeah. Compared to this guy, which I can turn, but like yours has a little bit of like yep. follow through. This one stops as soon as I'm done moving yeah, it. Yeah, I can that just piston spin in there. it like this. So it's a lot more efficient in yeah. terms of spinning it. Still it still has plain bearings, which are not the best way, but right. there's nothing blocking it from just spinning. There's no piston moving back and forth. The and, piston is deleted. And so that could be... You could have done this while it was sitting here. We just would unbolt yeah. a bunch of, you know. So let's get rid of this one and we'll just replace it with this one. And so then, wait, we also got these brackets here. Right. So talk to me about these brackets and what's going on? We welded some clamps on yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. What's going so on? So basically what you do 
is you place your <laughs> drill, hold on, you place your drill here and then you put it into place and there's a piece for the throttle and Whoa. then what you do is you just clamp it on, clamp it on, right? And then what's nice is you could just, there's a cable that's normally connected to the wand on, on the handle and then this would go up into here and when you close the wand it'll just go like this. And that's your lawnmower. And you can see you how go. much longer a spin it has. Again, yeah. that's more, more efficient, less friction. Right. All right, well, let's do it. Okay, cool. All right, so we got our motor here all loosened up. Take this. Nice. Don't need that anymore. That's it. That's all that's there. We took the blade out earlier. That's yeah, the only yeah. thing you'd have to do. But it's just a, a hole with a pattern. So then let's uh, swap it out. Okay. So let me... Actually, we can leave this on. Sure. Ready? Yep. Here we go. Done. All right. So we just installed this uh, slightly modified... Uh, engine, if you can call it that anymore, it's mm -hmm. basically just a big bearing. Yeah, it's I a, mean, right? It's a it's a it's a shaft holder. That's yeah. it. That so hooks it, up to the blade on the bottom and a place that you could put the drill. Yeah, with a drill holder on the top. So let's let's do that. Let's try that out. Yeah. So let's see. It. We stick it in here. Yeah. Go ahead. Just like that. Yeah. And so this Make is sure this is out that's of the, the way. throttle. So let's get that lined up. Yep. Nice. Good. Nice. So now let's put. The cable. Oh, in. Ho, ho. yeah. First, you got to release some, some, some tension. Okay. And then put it through here. Now, this is called a cable stop. There's an outer and an inner, and this is very similar to a bicycle. So, it's like a, the brakes of a bicycle. It's exactly like the brakes of a bicycle, and this is an old, uh, tried and true way of remote articulation. So. What's cool is that I don't have to do anything besides pull on I've it. I've unplugged it. And then you it see it. It pops into place. Nice. And that's it. So let's try it out. All right. So I'll plug you in. Yep. Okay, ready? Yep. Hey. Isn't that cool? All right. Let's go cut you some grass. You try it. All right, yeah. Go slow on the start. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Interesting. So, I mean, you could even do some variable speed yeah. cut grass. Yeah. Like, so that actually brings up a question. Since I'm able to, you know, vary the speed here, like I go slow. What speed are we supposed to be cutting grass at? So the typical lawnmower operates max 3,500 RPM, 3,600 RPM. I think cutting grass might be around 3,000. This particular drill, I did a clocking on it mm -hmm. and with a laser, and it does about 2,200 RPM. So Wait, what do you mean you measured it? Yeah, so if you just put a reflective piece of tape on one part of there, yeah. and then you have a handheld laser, it'll count the revolutions. Oh, so you have a special machine for that? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. You want to see it? Yeah. Okay, I got it right here. Nice. All right, so let's try it out. All right, ready? Okay, yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm going gonna gonna... to start with like a medium speed. I'm going to just aim it. Okay. I'm gonna aim it at the uh, at the piece of tape. Go ahead. Okay, uh, 400, 900, uh, 2800, uh, 1200, 1200, 1700, 1800, 1800, 2200, about 1800. So what what did we hit? So. I saw about about 1800 and um, but it has a memory of the max. Oh, okay. And then that was the minimum and then this is the final. Uh, so it has you have all these settings you could go through. So we got up to 2800 I think that but I think that was because I moved it up to my the knurling, aiming. Maybe? Yeah, okay. it was up to the knurling, right. So if you just stay on the target, yeah. right? Like you really should put this in a holder or something like that. But yeah. anyway, so it's about 1800 RPM. So it's low, but 
We'll see if it works. All right, let's see if it cuts grass. Okay. All right. All right, here's the test in three, two, one. There it goes. Now if only we had grass to cut. Yeah. Oh, hey, I heard something. Stop moving. There you go. That leaf, let's see. Oh. <laughs> hey. Okay, wait, wait. Stop for a second. Let's drop the blade down, right? Yeah. That's funny. Huh? All right. Ready. So the biggest problem with this is uh, we don't have any lawn yet. It hasn't come in yet, and uh, so we're gonna we're gonna hit some of this stuff, <laughs> and uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh, down. comes back. Oh, not happy. Oh, let's see. Stuck, it's stuck, it's stuck. Oh, what was that? Something fell, fell off. off. I say unplug. Really? <laughs> unplug it, unplug it. So, I mean, it did power through quite a bit of section here. You saw it bogged down. Um, now, a gas motor would bog down there as well. Um, and so, I don't know. As a test so far, I'm pretty excited. Um, it's promising. And again, this wasn't going to be the final product. So, don't worry. We have many, many more plans coming. But this was a good, this is a good first step. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know. We work hard to bring you videos about things that we think you'll find useful, but we need to know from you what you want to see, so leave your comments below. Also, don't forget to go over to our Patreon page, where for as little as a buck a month, you can watch our Patreon bonus story every week on Tesla Time News. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.